Yeah, so we started three years ago. Uh, my brother sent me a, a YouTube video on somebody that was renting out a Polaris slingshot. Yeah. A three wheel car. I remember you getting one. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah. like that day, or maybe the next day we bought that same exact car, went out and bought it, rented it out for a while. Then I put my personal car on the platform. Okay. Then since then we just started buying cheap, really cheap cars. Mm -hmm. They started buying more and more expensive cars. So how long have you been doing it for? What, mm. two years, three years? It's been about three years now. Oh damn. So you started with the slingshot. You guys got rid of that, obviously. Yeah, we did. We how did. how well did that do? It did okay. It did didn't. I, I wouldn't buy another one. I wouldn't, wouldn't buy another, another one. one. It's hard to sell. We bought it for twenty grand. We hold, held it for like six months. We sold it for like thirteen grand. Jeez. We lost almost half the value in six months. Did you at least profit on it? Uh, we probably broke even, if not lost money. Damn. Which car does the best? Because obviously you guys have the exotic cars. Yeah. But you guys also have the basic cars. Which yeah. one sells the most? There, there's most a couple profitable. ways to look at it. We yeah. have. Uh, our best one in the past four weeks has been our Chevy Tahoe. Okay. That one this month will do about seven thousand, which is crazy. I mean, it, it's going to do more than. What's the note? Uh, we don't have a note on it. Oh yes, but all, right yeah, all of our cars are paid off. Oh damn. Um, so that one will do seven thousand, but then like ROI, mm -hmm. based on like ROI, we have like some cheaper cars like a Ford Fusion, Chevy Malibu. Yeah. For ROI, those do a lot better. Because I know a lot of people in Arizona, they'll come over here and then go to Sedona. Yeah. All yeah. the time. Flagstaff, and those are like the most Sedona, popular cars. Tucson, uh -huh. Yeah. They Jeez. go all over. Yeah, they fly in here and they go somewhere else always. So do you guys? Most of the time, it gives like charge per mileage or is it per day rate? So it's per day and then they get a certain amount of miles. If they go over, they get charged on okay. miles. Which one's your favorite car here? Mm. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it's actually back here. The f and this this is, was, still is my probably one of my favorite cars. 48 Spider to 17. Um, guests just got an accident. They spun out, it hit a curb. Somehow went like the opposite way on the road. They spun out so hard. Hit the back wheel, almost completely separated, and then they got the airbag deployed on it. Oh, so How old were they? Uh, he's 30. Oh, okay. 30. So You've he never had this car before? Yeah, but yeah, that's going to go to collision, one of the top collision centers here. Hopefully, it'll get repaired pretty quickly. We're going to go after his insurance with another insurance that we're going to go after. It's probably going to be a long process for something like this. They're Makes not going to want to pay out. No, they're not. No. <laughs> Yeah, you crash a 488. Yeah, yeah, that's a hard one. What's your guess on how much it's gonna cost total for this? With the accident? Mm -hmm. Cars, what, 300,000? Mm -hmm. No. Current value, well, brand new is like 350, current yeah. value is like 250. Spun out wheel, car air. I'd say wheel, tire, possible suspension, tire rod, repaired back bumper, the uh, skirt, um, and then airbag, uh, they're gonna have to fix the airbag and the door, the door like almost separate, the door separate. Yeah, I saw that inside, yeah. I'm gonna say- Brakes, of course. North or south is 60K. Okay, okay. What do you think? That's, oh, here. Yo, good catch. That's Zach, my brother's guest too. He guessed about 60. That? So this one, I think there's a couple, there's a couple factors to this. The damage alone is probably, my guess is like 30 to, maybe 50,000 at the most. Yeah. But then there's diminished value and then there's loss of income. If this thing's gone for two weeks and we get 5% of the value back, that alone is 42,000. Just that. How many times do you guys rent the car? Well, the 21 days you had. Dude, it. I don't even, I know we didn't even have it enough to rent yeah, it out. Yeah, like, see we the market it on out, it. it was, let me think. Cause it's what, 900 bucks a day? Um, 990? Roughly, it's, yeah. it's anywhere from like, like weekday, we'll have it down to like 550, yeah. pretty low, and then we'll have it all the way up to like almost 900. What, what, people rent it for a day, or they rent it for multiple days? A lot of it's single day. Yeah, a lot of it. There's, there's, I think you can see that. Yeah, there's sometimes people rent it for a couple days, but a lot of it's single day. This thing was rented out in the, cause we had it for like, what day is it today? 25th, so mm -hmm. it got crashed on the 22nd. Yeah. It was out for like six days. Damn. So it does stuff like this doesn't go out a ton. No, what it does it makes it makes good money. It's also good to have for your portfolio. Oh, so anyone sure. starting, would you? What's the first car? Someone's like, I want to turn a car. What's the first car you'd recommend? Um, starting a fleet with. I would say, I'm I'm really digging our Volkswagen Tiguans. Other than we have one with a blown engine right now, that's no fun. Yeah. Those do really well. I mean, cost versus what they generate, they do great. Mm -hmm. so you buy it for like about twenty grand with low miles, and they yeah. make anywhere from like. 1200 to 3000 a month, okay. which is pretty good. And then we have a Chevy Tahoe that we bought with 60,000 miles. We bought it for like 28. Okay. That thing crushes it. Anywhere from like 1500 on the very, very low end all the way up to 
This month we'll do seven grand. Yeah. Are most of your cars always gone? Is right now, yeah. Them right now in season, yeah, 100%. Okay. When we go off season, which is like the summertime. Yeah, it makes so sense. So we're in April right now. So starting like May, or it's not April, it's March. Yeah. April's going to be really good. May, it's, it takes a nosedive. Yeah. May gets really slow, so you have to lower your prices by quite a bit. So during the weekdays, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, it's going to be really slow. Mm -hmm. But then weekends are almost always booked out. Makes sense. So these cars you guys have, they don't really lease out much. Um, the high the high end cars. Well, a lot of these just came back actually. Oh, okay. So Mon Sunday and Mondays are our day back. So today's Monday. So we had a lot of cars come back yesterday. Mm -hmm. and a ton are coming back today. Okay. So it's like the two days where all the cars come back. Why is that? Who just uh, in town? Yeah, because people will, like rent it for the weekend or their trip will end on like Sunday or Monday because a lot of it's airport and yeah. then they return it. So some days we'll have like 70 cars come back on in like one day. Not bad. Between the two companies, not just ours. I like it, fuck. So what's the revenue you guys doing? Um, this month we're gonna do, we're at, let me see, I'll show you. This month is a huge jump from like our last biggest month. Really? Yeah, so this month we're at 65,000 on Turo, and then we've done another 15 on private, so, so, Eighty thousand dollars right now between Toro and private because we do private as well, yeah. which is read directly consumer off the app. Uh, so eighty thousand right now. We'll probably hit ninety thousand this month in gross wow. revenue. Profit will be about forty percent margin. That's pretty good. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty That's good. Really good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Because yeah. we we just do Toro for the high end stuff, but I want to do private. Yeah. It's a lot different of a process with regular cars. You just get their insurance to make sure it covers the car. Yeah. But for high end, you actually add the car to their insurance policy like you bind it really it's just it's like a just just in case because well, like yeah. their, their insurance can say like um, we're not covering this but if it's on the policy like they have to cover it makes sense so have you ran situations where people just didn't have coverage like how many like obviously this is a fluke on the ferrari but does it happen a lot of people damage the cars um a lot of i mean most of the time turtle covers it we're in one claim right now we have like six active claims yeah. right now which is a lot for having 45 cars but one of them Toro's not covering and we're pretty sure the guy doesn't have insurance so the backup is our insurance and if our insurance doesn't cover it, then it's out of pocket that's the volkswagen uh, engine. Engine. It's like 